Hello everybody, welcome to today's Sermon on the Go. Uh, today's Sermon on the Go is going to be one of the most important messages that I will give. That's because Jesus said something in the second chapter of Mark's Gospel. He said that those who are well does not need a physician, but those who are sick. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. If you are hearing this message today and you are a Christian, I want you to share the message with your friends, colleagues, family members who are not Christians so they too can learn something from this message. Today's Sermon on the Go is about how to become successful in life. <laughs> how to become successful in life. There is a story in the 11th chapter of the book of Genesis, and I'll read it to you just now. Genesis 11 verses 6. Let's hear the reading of God's word. And the Lord said, Behold, they are one people, and they have one language. And this is only the beginning of what they will do. And now, nothing they have imagined to do will be impossible for them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, brothers and sisters, a little background to this story. As you can see, I just read Genesis 11 verses 6. The story starts from the beginning of chapter 11 of the book of Genesis. And it starts when the people of the earth were all speaking one language. They were united. They were in unity. And they said to one another, Come, let us build a tower that will reach to the heavens. And God sat down in heaven and began to analyze what these people were doing. And his answer to the problem is in verses 6 and 7. He said that these people are one and they speak one language. And this is only the beginning of what they can do. Now, nothing they have imagined to do will be impossible for them. Friends, brothers and sisters, I don't know what you want to do in life. I don't know where you want to get in life. I don't know your dreams. I don't know your aspirations. I don't know your goals. And I don't know what you want to achieve. But I am here to tell you today, as long as you can imagine it in your mind, it is achievable. Here, God said that because the people was one and they spoke one language, whatever they imagined to do, it will never be impossible for them. It took God to come down on earth to confuse their language in order for them to go their separate ways. And they left and went away from building that tower. So this day I come to encourage you. I don't know where you are in life and I don't know where you, where you want to be. But I am sure you want to be somewhere. I am sure you want to be successful in life. I am sure you want to have a successful life, a successful family life. I am sure that you want your children to be successful. So my message to you today is that as long as you can imagine it, it is achievable. If I can cast your mind back to the Wright brothers, the two brothers who invented aeroplanes, they were discouraged. People discouraged them. People said many different things about them. In fact, 
they were told that, do you think this metal can fly in the air? Guess what? They ignored all those talk and they pursued their dream. The fact that you and I can fly in an aeroplane and get to different destinations means that the Wright brothers pursued their vision. They pursued their dreams and they pursued their goals. So friends, brothers and sisters, whatever it is you want to achieve in life, In fact, I want this message. If you hear this message, let your teenagers listen to this message. Anybody from the age of 10 to 20, I want them to listen to this message and listen to it very carefully. Whatever it is you want to achieve in life, the Bible is saying that nothing you imagine to do will be impossible for you. Nothing you imagine to do. So as long as you can dream about it, as long as you can imagine it, as long as your mind will be creative and have the idea of what it is that you want to be successful about, you can achieve it. It is as simple as that. The Bible says that now, nothing they have imagined to do will be impossible for them. (laughs) If you are a teenager and you are watching me this day, I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to pursue your academics with all diligence, with all focus, with all commitment. Leave those mobile phones alone. Leave social media alone. Leave the things that will distract you from your studies alone. And focus on your studies. Face your studies squarely. And you will be successful in life. Whether you want to be a bus driver or an engineer. Whether you want to be a radiography or a doctor. Whether you want to be a nurse or a pilot. Whether you want to be a bricklayer or an accountant. Whether you want to be a organizer or you want to be in management. Whether you want to go in business. Brothers and sisters and you young people. I want to assure you that as long as you can imagine where you want to be in life, as long as you can picture it in your mind, as long as you can imagine it and have a dream about it, it is achievable. You will be able to achieve it once you imagine it. I am here today to encourage you, you young people, focus on your studies. Face your studies squarely. Leave all those social medias alone. Leave your mobile phones alone. They will not get you anywhere. Read your books. Study for your exams. Make friends with people who are serious about life. Who are serious about getting somewhere in life. And you will be successful in your exams. You will come out with a flying colors. You will be successful in every endeavor once you focus, once you are committed. Because as long as you can imagine it, it is achievable. The Bible says in Genesis 11 verses 6, And now, nothing they have imagined to do will be impossible for them. If you are watching me today, and if you hear this message, share this message with your friends. Share this message with your colleagues. Share this message with your children. Share this message with your nephews, your nieces. Share this message with anybody to whom you think that can benefit from this message. As long as you can imagine it, have a dream about it. It is achievable. So how do you dream about it? How do you imagine it and how do you go about making it happen? Well, I will leave my contact details below this video or above this video. If you contact me, I have a document that will help you achieve every goal that you want to set your mind on. It is a 20-year plan. And if I give you that document, 
you will have to put everything that you want to become in life. It have some references to the Bible. The document will help you to put your thoughts and ideas on those documents. And as you put your thoughts and ideas on those documents, you go back to it from time to time. And that will help you achieve your goal. That will help you become successful in life. That will help you to be successful in all your endeavors, particularly the young ones, particularly the young people who are growing and becoming mature adults. I want to encourage you with every fiber of my being. Wherever you want to be in life, it is possible. For with God, nothing is impossible. For with God, all things are possible. So as long as you can imagine it, as long as you can be creative about it, as long as you can have a dream about where you want to be in life, my dear brothers and sisters, it is achievable. If you have a dream about it, if you imagine it, don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt your ability to make things happen because you are created in the image of God. So you can make things happen in your life. So once you imagine it, once you dream about it and you put it on a document, the document I will give you, don't doubt in your ability to make that thing happen. Don't doubt in the ability God has given you to make you successful. Don't doubt in the ability to make you get to where you want to be in life. The moment you dream about it, the moment you imagine about it, don't doubt yourself because a double-minded person is unstable in all their ways. So the moment you dream about it, do not doubt. Believe in yourself. Believe in God. Believe in your ability to make those things happen and God will be on your side and you will be successful in life. Friends, brothers and sisters, this message is very important. Please share it with anyone you know. Let them learn from this message. If you contact me, I will send you that document that can help you formulate your thoughts, formulate your ideas, formulate your dreams and goals and aspirations, and you will be successful in every endeavor. May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. I will see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. Ha, 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 ha.